death in everyday life. My clothes are covered in baby gerb. My mind in other things. Sitting at the same cafe table, same booth, where we cried when she told me she was pregnant. Two bus drivers wave to each other, power lines along the roadside. The cafe is closed, sticks floating in a pile down the river, people on vacation. Urine and perfume, celebrity, graffiti, bench, bus stop. Birch trees standing in swamp water. Two men fishing on the side of a small lake. A passing Volvo. Life in Pennsylvania. Camping trailers and kitty litter, the total unconditional fulfillment of all of our desires forever. Bus seat covers, even sadness needs a lover. House on a cliff. Tell me what you want. I'll tell you another thing when traveling. Now that the train broke down, I appreciate the bus. As the city approaches, an ambulance the other direction. Krishnamurti said, The clarity of perception is its own action. Orange handled scissors in a jar of blue pens. The big red dictionary sitting on the flimsy white plastic laundry basket lid ready to fall through. Have no studio, uncertain about blue ink, pleased to see the cafe table is as unsteady as the one at home. Cinnamon roll falling apart. Young men in their twenties sit behind discussing the upcoming version of Nintendo. I have no opinion about either. Cucumber salad, green-handed frogs, the memory of summer leaves. It always seems to come back to a question of structure. Chuck D. John Cage. Both have names involving the letter C. But beyond that, I don't see the connection. I used to be frustrated by the way my girlfriend always leaves her shoes in the middle of the floor. But I have realized that when I accept the shoes, I am no longer irritated. Or rather, I am still irritated, but I am able to watch my irritation and therefore not suffer from it. Now, when tripping over the shoes in the middle of the night to pick up the baby, instead of being irritated, I find the shoes awakening. That is, when I am able. Love is very, very big. So much so, I don't think I need to think so much about it. Ready or not, here I come. Young lady sings popular ballad. But what, may I ask, is coming? I have decided not to hire a studio, but write in public places instead, <clears throat> and use the money I would have used on the studio for coffee, secondhand smoke, and free propaganda. Lady at neighbor table showing her fat friend her new anti-depression medicine. A room with a view, a church with a pew, someone standing behind. 
there goes another guy walking down the street. He too will die. Tree branch looks like a snake well contained by the surrounding sidewalk. Four women with little babies. I have a little baby too and want to join their table but eavesdrop instead. The cake crumbs and the spilled candle wax on the table somehow look ready for battle. People who bring their own food into a cafe and eat it. This just ain't Jellystone Park, folks. A jogger just jogged by. New mothers enjoy each other's company, I bet, with silent competition. Clouds of dust blow down the street and turn the corner. Can't see the face of the girl with long blonde hair well enough to know if I am attracted. How kind the dust to help me better see the window, my glasses. Cracker Jack, the science museum went black. School children run out the front door, the ghosts run out the back. Equipment for sale, man on scooter turns right. Winter ice. Have you seen the little boy green in the corn or in the cream? That dark red napkin there between the white cup and its saucer. Baby test drives his lungs and pauses, surprised. We see change, but we don't see it at all. It's strange that change is strange at all. We see the change, but don't see it at all. It's strange that change is strange at all. We see change, but don't see it at all. It's strange that change is strange at all. <laughs>